Hey everybody, welcome to the Muddy Reviews. Uh, today's review is going to be going over uh, the Union TAC uh, Surefire uh, Mini 2. So I've actually had this for about five months now and I'm just now getting around to reviewing it. Uh, actually I got it in and then completely forgot to review it. Um, I've talked about it a few times and uh, you've seen it probably on and off on my um, AK build. It's just been kind of just ambiguously there in, in the background and on the gun. But I never did a video or a review on it. And I just kind of decided to hold off until I had some more, uh, I guess, time with it. So I figured since it had been this long anyway, and I didn't do my initial thoughts on it when I first got it, I would just hold off. So now that I've had it for a while, I've gotten to actually play a few games in it before I uh, I went down for surgery. And now that I've mounted it on multiple weapons and got to play, mess around with it, I can give you a much more comprehensive thought on it. So this is uh, the Surefire uh, Sub-Mini 2. It's made by Union TAC. Um, I got this off AliExpress and it actually uh, came from the U.S., believe it or not which I thought was kind of strange, but kind of cool too. So it's fully trademarked. Uh, it's the Surefire LLC, uh, Fountain Valley, California, uh, SOCOM 556 Mini 2, uh, Caliber 556, and a serial number, blah, blah, blah. And then what was cool about it is it came with a, uh, I believe this is the, oh man, I'm going to probably fuck this up. I want to say it's the Warden, not the Warden, Warden? Flash Rider? No, sorry, not Warden. Goddamn. Uh, War Comp Flash Hider. So uh, it's a four-par Flash Hider. So this thing is, is steel. This is heavy as shit, and it's a really nice Flash Hider. I was really shocked it wasn't some cheap pop metal piece of garbage. So that was a really um, happy surprise when I got it in. So that, that was kind of cool. Uh, it mounts really firmly and nicely to this Flash Hider. And the Flash Hider is 14, 14 millimeter counterclockwise. Um... I've had no issues mounting it on any AEGs that I've tried it on yet. Uh, so far, it went great on the Arturus. It went really good on my Classic Army M4. Uh, that's what I initially had bought this for, uh, was my Classic Army. And kind of a happy accident. I thought I was getting the full-size suppressor, and then I had gotten this uh, mid-range size suppressor. And at first, when I got it, I was like, fuck, I ordered the wrong suppressor. Uh, then I did a little research and found out this is actually the size... Um, a lot of units are starting to switch to because uh, it's the smallest you can go and still get the um, full suppressive ability of, out of the suppressor and out of the around. So that's that's kind of cool. I didn't know that. Uh, so happy accidents. Um, the one thing I'll say is I've barely used it. Uh, it, it really mostly just LARPing around the yard of the house because uh, like I've talked about in other videos, I've had a... a surgical procedure tonight and I can't I can't get out in airsoft I'm still recovering and I'm not cleared but as you can see uh, there's a lot of like paint degradation here so the finish uh, didn't keep very well and I mean it's it's not that big a deal but this didn't take a lot to wear off so that's that's a definite uh, downer I guess or just a kind of like oh that sucks but I mean it's not like it's not that big a deal. If I really, really wanted to, I'll just take a fucking blowtorch this thing and kind of just singe the front of it to make it look like um, it's had some real rounds through it. I mean, that's always a solution. Or just take some paint and just paint it. I mean, there's there's different things. But it just is... The finish did come off rather quickly and surprisingly fast and easy. It didn't take a whole lot for this to start wearing. And that was kind of a bummer. Uh, mounting wise though, it does mount firmly. I mean, you can hear it. It's very solid. It's a very clean. Uh, when I had it on the, uh, AK, it was firm and got on there real clean, real good. It didn't, uh, didn't wobble. It, there was no, um, get, it was no like play in it whatsoever. Uh, it, it mounts to the flash hider. Just very, very solidly, and that's a bonus. I've had other uh, suppressors that just have a lot of play in them. They just kind of wobble. Uh, this one doesn't. So I would definitely uh, buy another one of these, 
even knowing that the finish is going to be kind of wonky. I would hope that um, that's something that they fix later and maybe do a more robust finish. But that's to be seen. I, I do plan on getting a black one and the full size or possibly even another FDE in the full size uh, for an M4 build. But all in all, uh, definitely worth the money. It was a very uh, cost efficient and uh, cost effective suppressor. I'll put the, the price I paid in the description below and I'll put a link to this uh, in the description below where I got it off AliExpress. And um, me being in the US and having it come from the US was really beneficial. It was actually pretty cool that I didn't have to wait weeks and weeks and weeks to get it from China. And it came, I believe, from uh, the West Coast. And I got it in like uh, barely a week. So that was kind of cool. Appreciate you watching this video. I hope uh, this video was uh, enlightening. If you uh, got something out of this, let me know. And uh, if you have any experience with this suppressor, uh, let me know in the comments. And if you want to know more about it, uh, also let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to go in uh, further detail. Uh, that's all I got for you. Take care, guys. Have a good one.